from Alaska. This is our fifth day at sea. I'm obviously on an Alaskan cruise, which, side note, has been on my bucket list for so long. I still can't believe I'm here. Every day I wake up and come out here and I'm just like, how is this real? But today I thought it'd be super fun to take you along on a kind of typical, typical day in my life here on this cruise ship. We are on Norwegian Encore with Norwegian Cruise Line and we've had a few excursions that have been epic over the last few days. That will be coming in another video probably next week. But there are so many amazing things to do on the ship and today we have a full day at sea. So we're going to be on the ship all day and we are going to be passing through or kind of around this insane glacier in Glacier Bay. But I wanted to take you guys along and show you kind of what it's like to be on the ship. And we have a lovely friend with us. Dylan's here with me. I'm a lovely friend. <laughs> <laughs> we are having so much fun. I'm just so happy we were able to like do this together. I know. This has been like the most relaxed I've been in a long time, which mm -hmm. is kind of weird to say. I know. <laughs> and we're also here with some awesome creators and friends that kind of knew through Instagram, but now we're actually able to hang out in real life. So you guys will meet them very soon, but I really need to get ready because we're supposed to be like arriving at the glacier any minute now. So I'm, um, I'm obviously not ready. So uh, let's go get ready. <laughs> Well, this is our cabin, and yes, it's a mess. Don't do not pan anywhere. <laughs> I'll do a full tour later today when I magically clean it up. Okay, so for some context, if you guys watched my previous video, you'd know that I was in Chicago, and I've kind of just been on a USA stint for the last two months. Before that, I was in Indonesia, and before that, I was in Mexico. So yeah, I've been kind of just bouncing around the US, visiting friends and family, and this opportunity to work with Norwegian Cruise Line came up. If you're following on Instagram, you'll probably see all of the content I'm doing a campaign with them. Yeah, I'm just absolutely soaking up this opportunity to be here, because like I said, it's just been on my bucket list forever. So this is kind of my last USA adventure before I go back to Mexico in like a week. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm just really so happy to be in Alaska. Yeah, today's gonna be epic. So I need to get ready. Shut up, get ready. <laughs> it's breakfast time, really quick breakfast time. So we're going to the Garden Cafe, which is like basically the fancy food court of Norwegian Encore where everyone goes to eat all meals. <laughs> They're all so cute here. Good morning. Good morning. Enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. So there is really, really good food here in the Garden Cafe. There is an omelet station every single morning, but I don't really have time for that, so I just got some scrambled eggs and like random other stuff. I actually have the drink package, which I am loving because I can get fresh pressed juice in the morning. So let's go do that really quick. Hello. Um, could I get a green juice? Carrot and fillet. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Enjoy. Thank you. These views are already insane. So I'm eating so fast so I can get upstairs. I don't want to miss any of this. Oh my God. You're about to meet my favorite person on this ship. I have this song stuck in my head all day. Oh my it's amazing. God. You're my favorite person on this ship. Enjoy, enjoy your day. Thank you. <laughs> I actually love him so much. It's a little bit rainy, but that's okay. We're kind of on the end of the season, so it's been pretty rainy and overcast, but still epic views. So we're at Vibe Beach Club right now, which is usually a little less crowded than the rest of the ship. So that's where we're going for the views today. It is very chilly up here. Oh my God, it's super windy. We're supposed to see the glaciers in probably like an hour, but I'm trying to like claim a jacuzzi because I want to be in the jacuzzi when we're at the glacier. So we'll see what I can do. Don't forget your sandals. It's a little clearer now, so we're going outside. <laughs> All right, we got the squad. We're up here with Carly. This is gonna be fine. I'm fine. so excited. Where's Mana? Get over here. Woo! We got Mana. And should we get should we get in? I feel like yeah. Yeah. Oh, also we have Colin. I haven't introduced you yet. Hi, I'm Colin. <laughs> What's up, you two? Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm Comes, so. We got boyfriend duty. <laughs> Sick. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. Okay, so I think we're about to go around this like big mountain thing, and then we're officially in Glacier Bay. Hopefully, the visibility clears. It's very foggy, but I'm having fun regardless. This 
so fast. <laughs> I literally just sit out to get a few like photos. Instagram versus reality. I get back in my bathing suit's like ice, actual ice. And I'm getting it. I'm like, this is like a hot cool therapy situation. Yeah, yeah. I'm here for it. So we're finally coming around the little mountain thing and I see the glacier and I'm so excited. We're like kind of delusional right now because it's so cold. And there's all these ice chunks in the water. You can see it's so good if you stand up, but we don't want to stand up. I know. Okay, so we're in like the heart of Glacier Bay right now. We've got some hot chocolate, I've got my robe on. I am blocking out the cold in my mind. This is absolutely epic. The watercolor is insane. Hashtag no filter. Ha literally, <laughs> there's all of these like ice chunks floating in the water. I'm looking at a huge glacier that we're about to pass. And then obviously right behind me, you have this like massive rock. I've heard that Alaska's environment is just absolutely wild and insane, but seeing it up close is wild. Like I keep thinking, wow, that's big. And then I see a boat next to it and it's just like crazy. I'm just so happy to be here. These are the masters behind all of the videos and photos <laughs> you're seeing. What do you guys think of the glaciers? Epic. It's stunning. It's hard to capture. What's crazy is that in Glacier Bay, there's over a thousand glaciers apparently. I read on the internet and we're only seeing two of them. I'm so happy. And we're gonna go to the spa soon so we can warm up in the sauna. So stay tuned for that. Okay, that was insanely epic. We we're out there for like two hours. So obviously very cold. So we're going to head over to the spa to warm up and there's still like a super epic view off the back of the ship. What is that, the stern? No, that's- The stern, the bow is the, the front. The bow is the front, is the okay, yeah. The Okay, it's Crosby from the future, very early in the morning, like two days later. I came here to get basically a tour of the spa as much as I could get without anyone here. There are all of these like heated lounge beds. They don't look super comfy, but they are. They're heated, they're like tile and they're perfectly shaped. Okay, I can't move now. You're staying here the rest the of the video. The tour can't continue the actually. The tour is finished. <laughs> it's done. Over there is the pool and the hot tub. They're both heated and it's super nice. And just all around, there's just incredible views as you will see when we were in Glacier Bay. It was insane. So in addition, we'll come this way. We have a few showers here because if you go in the steam room or the sauna, you can kind of rinse off after. This is called tropical rain shower. Everything is like just very luxurious in here. So this is one of the saunas. Yeah, it's super nice. We go in here a lot. Definitely not gonna go in the steam room, but Nice big steam room right here. And then I've never seen this before. This is a salt bath. To be honest, I don't entirely like know what it's supposed to do. It kind of just says it's good for like reducing stress and making you more relaxed. It does smell like salt and you can see all the salt crystals. It's honestly just a very beautiful place to come sit in. And then in here is the snow room. I posted about this on Instagram and everyone was like, what is a snow room? It's what you think it is. It's a room filled with snow. So there's not a cold plunge here, but there is a snow room. <laughs> Oh my god, I haven't even been in here myself. It's actual like snow. So if you want to come in here and do a little cryotherapy action, this is the spot. But well, that's pretty much all of the rooms here. And then basically all over you just have these lounge chairs with like the cushions and then the heated ones in front of the window. And you have a view straight out the back of the ship. And we love it in here. Okay, so we just finished up at the spa. Honestly, on a cruise like this where it's freezing cold outside, having this spa access is incredible. But now we're gonna go eat some food at the Garden Cafe again. Apparently they're having like a salmon bake situation. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Delicious. I need to help the fry at the moment. Oh, all the salads. There are so many options here and it's always so good. So I'm loading up. This is probably gonna be my first helping. I got a little bit of seafood, Asian, everything. Someone is tired. Stop. <laughs> the realities of your life. We've been up since like six because we had to look at the glacier. It's true. And now I want to lay in look, my comfy bed. It's still out there. Well, yeah. not the glacier, but beautiful mountains. Do you guys want a tour of our room? I do. 
<laughs> then I'll give it to you. Welcome in to our cabin. This is where we've been living for the last five days. Okay, we're gonna start off in the bathroom. So come on in. Here is our bathroom. Honestly, much roomier than I expected. Keep in mind, we're on a cruise ship. We've got a full walk-in shower. The water gets so hot, the pressure is amazing. So really, that's all you can ask for in a bathroom. We've got a nice full-length mirror, which I love. And we have kind of this area over here with another giant mirror, which kind of makes it feel a little bigger. And this is kind of just where we've been storing all of our tech and basically a charging station. And then right here, we have a couch, which is actually really nice and comfortable and underneath here are some drawers that are so well organized as you can tell this is Dylan's drawer and this is my drawer so they were originally packing cubes now they're just an explosion of clothes but we all do it over here we've got our closet so they've really maximized the space in here which is key this cabin's actually way bigger than what i was expecting on a cruise ship but regardless we have so many shelves where we've stored like all of our sweaters and stuff like that and then over here we've got a bunch of hangers that they provide so yeah just kind of hang up some stuff there underneath here we've got a mini fridge I haven't used this a ton, but it's nice to have. And then we also have a smart TV, which is super nice. We have internet on this cruise, like we have Wi-Fi, but it's not strong enough to play Netflix. So they have movies and TV shows playing every day, which is nice. So we have watched a couple movies, which has been lovely. And then right over here, we have our lovely bed. It's super nice and comfortable. And yeah, we've got like a thick duvet, really comfy pillows. They each have a lamp. Um, I love the lighting um, behind the backboard. It really feels like kind of luxurious, which is great. But of course, my favorite part of the cabin is right here. Oh, I just locked it. The balcony. And honestly, what we've been doing is we kind of crack this at night like this, depending on how cold it is. You can hear the waves and you have like a nice cold breeze coming in. It's amazing. But there's also this blackout shade if you want. This is our balcony. Nice private balcony. We've got a couple chairs and every morning coming out here and soaking all of this in has been so nice. So yeah, that is our cabin and I love it. I think now we're just gonna kind of relax for maybe an hour or two and then I think if I'm feeling really motivated, I'm gonna take you to the gym for a little bit because the gym is so nice. I was shocked, so I can't wait to show you that. But I think we're gonna kind of chill for a sec because we've been up for a while and it's been chilly. Oh, I'm freezing. So this is how your Instagram stories come to you. I literally look like a Whoville right now with my head. Uh, this is a bun, that's why I have that on my head. But like, it's so glassy, I can't go inside, I can't be inside right now. Okay, All right, here we are, Pulse Fitness Center. Kind of the TRX room. I think they also have classes in here. They like hit and Pilates classes. I'm just gonna do like a little workout because we're going to play a laser tag game upstairs after this. So that's gonna be my cardio. The real star of the show here is this ridiculous view at all times. The walls are all windows. So as you're working out, you just get insane views of wherever you are, whether it's just ocean as far as the eye can see or these mountains that we see here. And it also sounds like there's go-karts going right above us right now. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> there's so much rumbling. <laughs> Taking a little bit of laser tag, and uh, I've got these two, three kiddos with me. So it's Crosby and Mana on the other team, and I'm over here. Who's gonna be the best shot here? Me. Me. Oh my gosh, me. Who's no, me? No, 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 no. In my video game, I'm the best gamer in the world. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, I didn't really have time to change after laser tag, but we are going to dinner at this place that Mana said is amazing. So I'm very excited and I'm starving. You ready to order? Yes, this is so cool. Uh, we're here. Let's see, sharing is caring. I love this, and then we have the view. Okay. I got 
the volcano roll. Whoa, whoa. I never get specialty rolls, so I figured now is the time. And then I also got some shishito peppers. I got crispy salmon roll. I'm struggling to pick up right now. And then I also got tuna. Oh. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I ended up passing out after dinner because I was just super tired from that amazing day. So it's actually the next day. I'm currently in Ketchikan, Alaska. We just finished up doing an insane fishing expedition. We're about to go eat some wild caught fish that we just caught here in this incredible destination. So if you wanna see kind of all of the adventures that we did here in Alaska, make sure you're subscribed because I have an awesome video coming out next week with everything that we got up to off of the cruise. But I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like this video and hit subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.